Uh, I'm Brian Dacey. I'm the chair of the Boston Harbor Association. Uh, thank you all very much for coming this evening. This is a great turnout. Uh, we're very pleased to have this beautiful facility and uh, great food and, and drink as well. I'd like to thank uh, Bob McConnell, our trustee, uh, Bob McConnell, our trustee, uh, who actually isn't here tonight, uh, but he is a partner at Bingham and he arranged this and it was really wonderful that he did it. And even though he's not here, I'd like to ask you all for a round of applause to thank Bingham for his time. Uh, this coming year represents our 40th anniversary and we're really excited about the coming year. We've had a great 2012, which you're going to hear more about shortly. Um, it, many things have happened over the last 40 years, uh, as many of you in this room know, and uh, Boston Harbor has become a pretty remarkable place, uh, and it used to be a pretty unremarkable uh, place. Um, and that's something we want to celebrate in this, this coming year. Um, but before we get into some substance, uh, we need to have a, a business meeting this evening and get a little bit of business done. So I'd like to open the business meeting if I could, and uh, in doing that I need to turn the microphone over to the chair of our nominating committee, Richard Walker, uh, so we can go over the 2013 uh, slate of nominees. Richard? Uh, thank you very much, Brian, and welcome again to all of you, and thank you for coming out this evening. Uh, I also want to thank the nominating committee members for the effort that they put in this year. We, we spent a lot of time trying to uh, provide a slate of, I think, excellent candidates, and with that, I will move to introduce our 11 nominees for, the first, for their first three-year terms. Bobby Martin. Pierce Park Salmon Center. Um, if you're in the room, could you just raise your hand so people can see you, please? Since you can't stand up, because everybody's standing up already. <laughs> Carol Churchy, uh, Churchill from Suez, uh, uh, Suez uh, District Gas. Uh, Julie Conroy from MAPC. There's Julie in the middle of the room. Uh, Andy Hammond from Boston Harbor Pilots. Is Andy over there in the exit area? Rachel Madden from NWRA. There's Rachel right down here. Nice to see you, Rachel. Jack Murray from Mass DCR. That's not here today. Um, Ellen O'Connor from UMass Boston. Uh, Colleen Powell from Mass Convention Center. I haven't seen Colin come in. Danny Rodriguez from the U.S. EPA. There's Danny in the back. Welcome, Danny. Peter Stilios from the Beale Properties. Peter. And Yanni Tsipas from Colliers. Is Yanni in the room? All right. Is there any discussion with regards to the nominations? All TBHA members are allowed to vote. All those in favor, please say yay. yay. Any opposed? The yeas have it. A round of applause for our new trustees. <laughs> Next are the trustees up for um, a second three-year term. Each has agreed to extend their service. Um, will you please raise your hand when I call your name? Margaret Carr, independent CPA. Is Margaret in the room? Elizabeth Grubb, Epsilon Associates. No, this isn't here either. And Allison Nolan, Boston Harbor Cruises. Where's Allison? Oh, there she is. Oh, again, against the back wall. <laughs> um, we'll now vote. All those in favor, please say yay. Yay. Any opposed? Another round of applause, please. And now we need to vote for our board officers. Um, thank 
Thank you. Um, we are nominating Brian Dacey as chair, Rick Demino as vice chair, Bernie Dreiblett as treasurer, Jamie Fay as vice chairs, Charlie Norris as secretary, Shelley O'Neill as vice chair, and Richard Walker as vice chair. Is there any discussion? All those in favor, please say yay. yay. Any opposed? Thank you. Finally, <laughs> finally, I want to um, express our appreciation for those board members who are rotating off the off the uh, board for their strong and dedicated service to TBHA. Uh, the following folks are um, rotating off. Lorraine Downey, is Lorraine in the room? Oh, there you are, Lorraine. Your hair color's changed since the last time I saw you. But that's not it. <laughs> Doug Gutro. Doug, I know I saw Doug earlier. Fred Lasky. Fred. Shelly, is Shelly in the room? Shelly Mahoney? Uh, Charlene, I know you're here because I saw you. And Jack Wiggins. Is Jack? There's Jack. Uh, again, a round of applause for their service to you. Thank you, and now I'll turn the podium over to Bernie, our treasurer. Let me just say two things before Bernie uh, comes up. Um, uh, as you're going to see in a minute, this has really been a very good year, 2012. Um, the uh, TBHA has, has worked hard in the last few years to create a very stable financial situation. Um, and that's very much due to uh, a great board uh, and some of the new members who are happy to see you're joining that board with some really terrific people that have dedicated themselves to this. And we're losing some members um, who also contributed, contributed mightily uh, in the last several years to helping uh, strengthen the organization. So uh, by way of introducing Bernie, I also wanted to thank uh, the board members for, for the fine work that they've done. Um, and now let me introduce Bernie, uh, five letters that chair of the finance committee. Thank you. Well, I think it's, as Brian said, it's been a terrific year for us. And it's, as you realize, been a transition year. And I just want to spend this a minute, because I know there's a lot of people on the agenda. TBHA uh, has long relied on the generosity of our partners who support through their membership and sponsorship our annual fundraiser. But in addition to that, with the efforts of our new organization, we've been able to do a lot more. And just taking a look, at the chart over there concerning a few years. One can see in 2010 where we were, and then we can see in 2012, on a cash basis, we've gone up 50%, and then we've introduced an entirely new category of in-kind donations from folks that like what we do and supported us by contributing and their efforts into our various campaigns and activities. And uh, we're on the move. Uh, our strategic plan was to get going and get going in a great way. And I think we far exceeded our expectations in such a short period of time. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Bernie. Uh, we, uh, we've been blessed not only with a great board, but with some great staff. Uh, Vivian Lee, who's back here in the middle, who will be up here soon, um, has really helped build this into a terrific organization and has really carried uh, uh, an enormous load for a long time. In the last year, we were very lucky to bring on another star uh, in uh, Chewy Wurzer. Um, as executive director, as Vivian became president, and the two of them have just done a phenomenal job uh, and again, uh, helping do things like grow that bar and that chart, which uh, really makes us all feel great and I know it makes them feel uh, terrific as well. 
as well as the policy accomplishments of which there are many and some of which you're going to hear about in a minute. Um, but uh, again, uh, as we thank the trustees, I also want to thank uh, the staff and in particular Vivian and, and Julie for the fine work that they've done. Um, so with that, let me introduce Julie Wormson, Executive Director of TBHA. tonight. The good news is that there's so much focus on climate change preparedness after Superstorm Sandy. The bad news is that so many folks wanted to come that we had to take out the chairs. I'm sorry, our apology. We do have some chairs around the edges for folks who really do need to sit. There might be a few more in the hallway. As we mentioned at last year's annual meeting, when we celebrated the completion of the Boston Harbor cleanup and the near completion of the Harbor Walk, TBHA's mission has pretty significantly evolved over the last several years. We're still committed to our Harbor Bound program where we take Boston area public school students on free experiential science trips. This year we brought over 500 students out to Deer and Spectacle Islands to learn about the harbor cleanup and the big dig. We also continue to keep close watch on waterfront development, responding to 20 development proposals, securing a wheelchair accessible, water transportation dock in Fort Point Channel, leading efforts to protect MBTA ferry service, and receiving a $50,000 grant to turn the old Northern Avenue Bridge into Boston's own Bridge of Flowers. But we've also turned our attention to two major new initiatives that build on our past success. We want Boston to be known as a world-class coastal city. This year, we led a coalition of eight nonprofits and public agencies to put on the first annual Summer on the Waterfront from June 1st to Labor Day. We raised over $800,000 in pro bono and cash support to reach over 20 million people with our common tagline, Eat, Splash, Shop, Learn, Rediscover Boston's Waterfront this summer. Second, we need to ensure that the rising tide doesn't swamp Boston's waterfront and downtown. Only here, right? This year, TBHA received generous funding from the Bar Foundation to develop cost-effective climate change preparedness strategies on a neighborhood level. You'll be hearing about this work from Vivian Lee and Paul Kirshen shortly. Finally, this year, our online communications really took off. Uh, Feel free to ooh and ah at this point. This is, this is a lot of work. So ready? We relaunched our website and our e-newsletter. We launched an open Pinterest site for people to post great photos of the waterfront har harbor. Ah. We've also turned our attention. Oh, wait a second. Okay. We created 25 short YouTube videos featuring our multiracial group of gorgeous college and high school interns enjoying a range of fun activities across the waterfront. Our goal is to become the go-to place to find out about all the great cultural and recreational offerings happening along the waterfront from East Boston through to Dorchester. Free of charge for all our great partners, what, what we hope to do is to lower the bar on marketing so people come down to the waterfront, spend more time, spend more money, come back, and the neighborhood thrives. So, here's how you can help. Please go to our website and sign up on our email list. It's easy. This December and all next summer, you'll receive weekly calendar roundups of events along the waterfront, and you'll be eligible to receive free waterfront-related prizes. For those of you so inclined, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter for more immediate waterfront news, and of course, check out our fantastic donate page. Whoa! <laughs> it, couldn't, it couldn't be easier to support TVHA's fantastic programs. If each of you in the room tonight contribute $50 to $100, we will meet our individual membership goals for the year. As you listen to Vivian and Paul, please think about how much Boston's waterfront and harbor mean to you, and please contribute as you are able. Again, thank you all for being here tonight and for all you have done for TBHA and for Boston's Waterfront. Brian? Thank you.
Thanks, Julie. Uh, I actually need to close the business meeting after that report. Uh, and officially to do that, I need somebody to make a motion to so close the meeting. It's been moved and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Uh,